Okay, welcome to our first HiPi video. <clears throat> In this tutorial, we are going to uh, read a data file using Python. We're going to plot that data, and then we are going to perform some kind of linear regression on that data, uh, essentially fit a straight line to it. Okay, so I've got a fresh Jupyter Notebook running here, and the important thing to note is that it is a Python 3 Jupyter Notebook. We are future-proofing ourselves here. Um, the data, which I will put the link to in the description of this video, is uh, it looks like this. So this is real um, uh, data from our lab taken on a uh, cadmium zinc sulfide film that we deposited, and this is some electrical uh, optical data here. So I've got uh, three columns. Um, the one on the left is the the composition. So this is the zinc to cadmium ratio. I've got band gap and I've got film thickness. Okay, so it's not you know not terribly important what the data is. Um, the important thing is we learn how to manipulate it and to plot it. So let's go back to our notebook. So I am working on this notebook in the same directory that that data is saved in. And the first thing I'm going to do, and the first thing you're probably always going to do, um, is import NumPy. Uh, okay, and I'm also going to import CSV, which is the library we're going to use to read this data. Uh, okay, so I'm going to create a path variable to that data file. We're going to call it data path, and it was data.csv. Uh, it doesn't have to be a CSV file, it also works with .text or .dat. Uh, let's open the file. For reading. Um, okay, so at the moment I haven't read any data, I've just created a file object. Uh, so essentially I've put uh, all my data in a box and I now need to open that box and read it. So to read it, I'm gonna use I'm gonna create another variable called reader. Uh, I'm gonna use csv.reader um, to read that data. <clears throat> so if I type in reader now, I've actually got a, a reader object. So uh, I can, that's essentially created uh, an identical copy of that file um, somewhere we, we can access it and, and perform uh, methods and functions on it. So let's read the data. So that's really easy to do. Um, we can read it line by line. So for line in reader, uh, let's just print the output to begin with. There you go. So I have essentially just reproduced that data file uh, in my Jupyter Notebook window here. Um, but obviously that's not really much use. I actually want to create a list and put it in there. So let's create a list. And I'm going to append each of these lines into that, that list. Data.append line. Okay, and now if I type data, uh, you can see, oh, uh, where's that with the data pen line? Oh, I need to read the file again. So, okay, there you go. So, there it is. Uh, so, a few problems here. Uh, the first one is that I've still got a header in here, which is going to cause trouble if I try and plot the data. And also, all my values are actually still strings. So, it's read that data out of that file um, and it's put all the values into strings. That's just how it sort of how it works. So, we need to convert all of those values into uh, a float type and we need to get rid of this header in here. So that's relatively straightforward. So to do that, I can let's use this cell here. If I do header equals uh, reader, oh, next reader, uh, I'll print the header as well. So you can see, um, I'm going to open the file again, read it in. Uh, oh, I'm using. Uh, Python 3, remember, okay, you've got to use brackets. There you go. So it's taken the first line out of that data file, I put it into uh, a variable called header, uh, and if I print it, it comes up again. So if I run the, this cell on this data again, you can see I've lost the header now. Okay. The next thing to do is create is convert all of the uh, strings in this data file to float. That's straightforward as well. I'm going to do it in... Uh, what we call a Pythonic way. So uh, let me just write that out. We'll call it float x. So convert that to a float for x in line. Actually, I've missed a bracket out over here. So even though this is a very sort of simple statement, it's essentially a another loop. 
So we're running a loop inside of a loop here, so it's looping over the three elements in each of these um, list items here. Uh, and if I run that again, oh, I need to run it all again. There you go, it's now converted them into a uh, float instead of string. Okay, brilliant. Right, we're nearly there. Uh, I'm gonna have a break in a second, but the, first, the next thing I wanna do is I, I don't want my data in this format. I can't really use it when it's got, um, uh, it's got each element is a triplet of values. So for example, if I just highlight one here, and I take the first uh, item in that list, I've got three values. What I actually want is a list of lists. So I want um, a whole list for my X values, a whole list for my Y, and another list for my Z. Uh, so X, Y, and Z here is um, uh, calorie to zinc ratio, uh, band gap, and thickness. So I need to transpose the data, and all I have to do to do that is np.transpose data. There you go. Right, so now it's put it into three lists within my original data lists. So if I actually show you the length of this list, there are three, okay? You have to believe me. Okay, so I'm gonna take a break there, and when we come back, I am going to plot this data. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a method which will tidy this up a bit, and then we're gonna figure out how to plot it, okay?